Hello guys, this is the latest news of the comedian Teli Samad who passed away yesterday. His blood platelets had dropped significantly so he could not digest food for days before death. He died at the age of 74. His daughter Kakuli said he had been suffering from chest infection. Earlier he had a bypass surgery in the USA and returned on 27 September 2017. He was also hospitalized in October and then in November last year. Besides, on 20 October 2017, he had a surgery on his left foot. Teli Samad was born in Noyagawa, Munshigon's district town on 8 January 1945. He studied fine art in Dhaka University. He started his career in the film industry through Carbo in 1973. He acted in over 600 films in the last four decades. He got his breakthrough in the film Non Muni, directed by Amjad Hussain. He suffered from different medical complications, including kidney and heart problems and infections in his leg. When we were young, we used to watch films at cinema halls. We chose a film only when we found the comedian Telisamad and the other comedian Dilda were in the movie. Telisamad was so tall, his hair was wavy and curly. Years back, I saw him somewhere in Dhaka city and I marked he had problem with skin. This legend said he would be a trikoni, meaning a triangle. He wanted to become a singer, a drawing artist and an actor. As he was mostly popular as a comedian, many did not know his excellent singing and drawing. He ended up being a triangle in reality. He was extremely wicked as a young boy. He hardly attended his classes. He used to stay outside hiding his father and elder brother in his school time. It's not just a comedian in films, dramas or magazines. He was a thorough comedian in his real life. He also influenced his sons to pass life merrily. He also composed songs and even directed in movies songs. He performed seven songs with eminent singer Sabine Asmin as a playback singer. His hardest time was when his father died. He became emotional in interviews when he started talking about his father's death. He escaped death three times in the Liberation War. He had to encounter the Pakistani military and managed to leave without being shot in his back. He could speak Hindi and Urdu spontaneously. He had to pretend he could not understand Urdu before Pakistani military to escape death. An eminent artist, Munirul Islam, shared his feelings. He said, Teli Samad would sincerely do whatever he put his heart into. He would entertain us with skits. He could also sing Kawali and play the harmonium. He was a hard worker, very good actor and a great soul. We always received warm affection, love and adoration from him. Shohit Kupir, Biren Shum and I entered art college in the second half of the 60s, said artist Matlub Ali, former dean at Faculty of Fine Arts in DU. He was a celebrated personality. He was a great comedian, actor and above all a great human being. We are proud of him and pray for his departed soul. His son Diganto, a singer, mentioned in a Facebook post, my father would tell me that whatever happens in life just be strong and you can conquer the world. Teli Samad started his career in the film industry through Carbo directed by Nuzul Islam in 1973. He is best known for his work in Munapagla 1984, Ondho Prem 1993 and Moina Muthi 1969. His last film was Zero Degree 2015 directed by Onimesh Ais. A beloved actor and comedian Abdus Samad adopted the name Teli Samad when his movie career began taking off. He was the music director of the movie Monopagla and he was also a playback singer in more than 50 films. He breathed his last on 6 April 2019 at the age of 74. He left behind his wife, two daughters and two sons. Thanks for watching.